Although the domestic sewage generated by human waste is usually not directly poisonous to life, as are chemical pollutants, they do pose environmental problems by throwing existing ecosystems out of balance. City sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants, in special ponds and tanks where the organic wastes of sewage can be broken down by the actions of bacteria. Once the bacteria have decomposed the organic matter, chemicals that kill harmful microorganisms are added to the sewage and the treated water is released. But the treated water often still contains a high concentration of nutrients. These nutrients can cause lakes, streams, rivers, oceans, and other aquatic biomes to become eutrophic. When aquatic biomes are eutrophic, algae grows at an accelerated rate, which results in algal blooms that can disrupt the normal balance of organisms in an aquatic community. Agricultural runoff contains large quantities of nitrogen from fertilizers, which are critical to the growth of certain species of bacteria. If these nitrogen compounds become available to the bacteria, the number of bacteria increases dramatically, and most of the available oxygen in the water is used up by the bacteria as they break down the nitrogen compounds. As a result, other organisms living in the water, such as fish and crustaceans, often suffocate because of the depleted oxygen supply. Fertilizers from agricultural runoff, along with sewage discharge containing detergents, can increase phosphate levels in aquatic biomes, such as estuaries and lakes. These phosphates accelerate the eutrophication of the biome, resulting in algal blooms that deprive grasses of sunlight. Without grasses, other species, such as crabs and small fish, are deprived of habitat, and then, when the algae dies, the water becomes oxygen-starved causing fish and other creatures that need oxygen to suffocate. Sewage also often contains chemicals from detergents and other sources such as drugs excreted by humans that interfere with the endocrine system of fish and other aquatic organisms by mimicking hormones like estrogen, testosterone, and adrenaline. These chemicals can disrupt the reproductive cycle of fish and other aquatic organisms or even result in the death of some individuals. Human sewage also contains many potentially harmful microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. A few bacteria in the water usually pose no threat to people, but filter feeding organisms, such as clams and mussels, ingest the microorganisms and concentrate them in their tissues. When these shellfish are eaten, diseases such as hepatitis, typhoid, and certain forms of dysentery can be spread. Another kind of water pollution is thermal pollution. Many factories and power plants produce heat as a waste product. Water from nearby rivers, lakes, or the ocean is frequently pumped through pipes in the cooling system of these plants in order to absorb excess heat and thus cool the plants. If the heated water is pumped directly back into the source river or lake, problems can arise because warm water holds less dissolved oxygen than cold water while the elevated temperature increases aquatic organisms' demand for oxygen by increasing their metabolic rate. Thus, heated water kills some aquatic organisms, such as fish and crustaceans, by reducing their oxygen supply while simultaneously increasing their demand for it. Other organisms, however, such as the larvae of many aquatic animals, are simply killed because they can't carry out certain biological processes in the warm temperatures. Fortunately, thermal pollution is now relatively rare, as most power plants use cooling ponds and cooling towers to cool off water before returning it to the body of water from which it has been diverted. <laughs>